here in the i button and in description box below you will get complete playlist of solution of system of linear summator equation and you will get the playlist of numerical analysis and numerical methods as well welcome to video number 3 and in this particular video we are going to uh, discuss about uh, uh, one method okay with working rule and a very important problem so to solve system of linear summator equation we have to methods that is direct methods and the second is indirect methods direct method means you will get the exact values of variables that is x y and z so this method is also known as exact method but in indirect method we have to perform certain iterations by which you will get the approximate values of the variables that is x y and z okay in direct methods we have three methods that is first gauss elimination method second is gauss jordan method and third is crouch method which is also known as factorization method or that is also known as lu decomposition okay in the same way in iterative methods we have three methods that is gauss jacobi method which is also known as jacobi's iterative method the second is gauss seidel method and the third is relaxation method in this particular video we are going to discuss in brief that is crouch method which is also known as lu decomposition or factorization method okay so let us start so lu decomposition method that is crouch method or factorization method there is a important note every square matrix a can be expressed as the product of a lower triangular matrix and an upper triangular matrix okay if you have any square matrix then we can express that as a product of lower triangular matrix and an upper triangular matrix okay now we will go for the working rule Consider a system of equation that is a one one x plus a one two y plus a one three z equals to b one a two one x plus a two two y plus a two three z equals to b two a three one x plus a three two y plus a three three z equals to b three. Now we can write this system of equation in matrix form that is a x equals to b, where capital A is what? This is coefficient matrix. It means coefficients of x y and z that is a11 a12 a13 a21 and so on okay so here we have matrix a it is matrix x that is variables that are x y and z and what is matrix b that is constants b1 b2 and b3 okay let a equals to l into u what is l that is lower triangle matrix and what is u that is upper triangle matrix okay lower triangle matrix means 1 0 0 L two one one zero L three one L three two one, and what about the upper triangle matrix? That is U one one U one two U one three zero U two two U two three zero zero U three three. Okay, then since we have A x equals to B and A equals to L into U, if you put A equals to L into U in this, you will get L U x equals to B. Okay, now we have to consider. U x equals to y. Okay, so that L into y equals to b, where y equals to y one, y two, and y three. Okay, now on solving this, we will get the value of y one, y two, and y three. After finding y, we will come to this equation where x is unknown, and we want to find x because we want the values of variables that is x, y, and z. That is x. Okay, so after finding capital y from this equation. will come to this equation then from u x equals to y that is from this equation we can find x that is x y and z which is the required solution okay now we'll come to the problem the question says solve the following system of equations by lu decomposition method and the equations are x plus y plus z equals to 1 4x plus 3y minus z equals to 6 3x plus 5y plus 3z equals to 4 okay so we have these equations now first we need to write the equation in matrix form that is ax equals to b what is a that is coefficient matrix 1 1 1 4 3 1 3 5 3 3 okay what is x that is x y and z and what is matrix b that is 1 6 and 4 okay now we have to write that is a equals to l into u okay we have to write a equals to l into u where l is One zero zero, L two one one zero, L three one, L three two one. This is what this is. Low triangular matrix. And what is u? That is upper triangular matrix. 
u11 u12 u13 0 u22 u23 0 0 u33 now we have to multiply these two matrices okay which is very easy i believe to get this first element we need to multiply this row with this column okay that is u11 plus 0 plus 0 now if you want to find this element multiply this first row with the second column so u12 0 0 u12 now come into this element that is first row and third column okay so u13 0 0 okay now come into this element that is second row and first column l21 into u11 okay then 0 plus 0 okay now come into this element that is second row and second column l21 u12 plus 1 into u22 that is u22 okay now come into this element that is second row and third column l21 into u13 okay plus u23 plus 0 okay in the same way we can find the third row also that is third row first column you will get this that is l31 into u11 okay now this into this will be 0 this into this will be 0 okay that is l31 into u11 now come into this element that is third row and second column okay so l31 u12 plus l32 u22 now 1 into 0 that is 0 now come into the last element that is third row third column okay l31 u13 okay l32 u23 plus 1 into u33 that is u33 okay now what is a that is this coefficient matrix we can write this here now on comparing both you can get all the unknowns that is how many unknowns are here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 here we have nine unknowns okay so since in these three elements here we have only one unknown okay respectively so u11 equals to 1 u12 equals to 1 and u13 equals to 1 okay so here we have the values of these three elements okay now six unknowns are left okay after finding these three unknowns we will solve column wise okay that is first we'll solve this then this then this then this then this and this okay so by this way we can get the unknowns okay so l21 into u11 equals to 4 okay and u11 is already known that is 1 so we'll get l21 equals to 4 okay now come into this unknown l31 into u11 okay l31 into u11 what is u11 that is 1 so l31 will be how much 3 okay so we have solved up to five unknowns now we'll come to the this element that is l21 into u12 plus u22 okay and this is how much three okay so this equals to three l21 yes that is known what is u12 that is one and we need this value that is u22 okay so in this equation only one unknown is present so we can find u22 easily that is how much minus one okay now we'll come to the this element okay that is l31 into u12 plus l32 into u22 okay here we have l31 that is how much 3 okay what is u12 that is 1 now u22 that we have found how much minus 1 so there is only one unknown that is l32 yes we can easily find l32 okay because in this particular equation we have only one unknown okay now come into this element that is l21 into u13 plus u23 equals to how much minus 1 okay so here we have l21 that is how much 4 u13 again 1 okay and u23 is unknown so in this equation we can find the value of u23 and that is how much minus 5 okay now coming to the last element and here u33 is unknown okay l31 that is how much 3 u13 that is how much 1 l32 that that is how much minus 2 u23 that is how much minus 5 and u33 is unknown so from this equation we can find the value of u33 because this is equals to 3 okay from here we can say that is u 
Preeti is how much? Minus 10. So on solving this, you have the values of all the unknowns. Okay. And since A equals to L into U, L means this lower triangle matrix and U means this upper triangle matrix and we have all the values of unknown. So we can finally say that is A equals to L into U. That is, this is coefficient matrix A and this is L and this is what? This is U. Okay. Now, here we have, here you can see that is AX equals to B, but we have considered that is A equals to L into U. So if you put A, that is L into U here, you will get LUX equals to B, okay? Because AX equals to B and we have A equals to L into U. So on putting L into U in place of A, this will become LUX equals to B. Now what we need to do is consider UX equals to Y, okay? Then we can say L into Y equals to B, okay? Now you have L, that is this low triangle matrix and what is B? That is also given in the problem. Yes, here we can see this is matrix B, that is 1, 6 and 4. By solving this, we can get the value of Y, okay? Let us see. So here we have L into Y equals to B, okay? That is L into Y equals to B. What is L? That is lower triangle matrix. What is Y? That is Y1, Y2, Y3. What is B? That is given in the problem. That is 1, 6 and 4, okay? On solving this, you can get the value of Y1, Y2 and Y3, okay? Here, Y1 equals to 1, okay? Now solving this, that is 4Y1 plus Y2 equals to 6. Y1 is 1. So putting the value of y1 in this equation will get the value of y2 that is how much? 2. Okay. Now from this equation that is 3y1 minus 2y2 plus y3 equals to 4. So on putting the values of y1 and y2 in this equation we can get the value of y3 and that is how much? 5. Okay. So y equals to 1, 2 and 5. Now we will come to the this equation that is u into x equals to y. Okay. That is this. Okay u into x equals to y. So what is u that is upper triangle matrix? What is x? x is what? Yes, in the problem it is given that is x, y and z. Okay, variables. And we want the values of x, y and z. Okay, so simply write x, y, z. And what is y? Yes, that is 1, 2 and 5. Okay, now solve this. But try to solve by back substitution. Okay, yes, here we have minus 10 z equals to Five, okay on solving this we'll get z equals to minus one upon two now coming to this that is minus y minus five z equals to two and the value of z is how much minus half so in this equation only y is unknown and that is how much y equals to half okay now put in the value of y and z in first equation that is x plus y plus z equals to one okay so we have since we have the values of y and z simply put those values and you will get the value of x that is how much 1 okay so we have the required solution that is x equals to 1 y equals to half and z equals to minus half and this is what this is my required answer okay thank you thank you so much